First of all, it was Mr. Smooth, because my work was smooth. And then the sound wizard appeared. I think it's because I got a tattoo of a wizard on my belly. <laughs> Well, about 15 years ago, 16 years ago, uh, I was uh, diagnosed of having cancer and I had to go through the process of operations and chemotherapy. So um, when I came out of hospital, I went down to the beach, you know, just take time off work and, and to recover a bit and uh, started playing with the sand and found my hidden talents overnight, literally that fast. When I first started, it wasn't that good, as far as I'm concerned. But now, it just comes naturally, really. I just do them. I do copy, though, uh, many, many a times. Ninety-ninety percent of the time, I use my own imagination. If somebody gives me a, a subject, I'll just, poof, carve something. Within seven months, I came seventh in the World Championships in Canada. <laughs> I've been given the opportunity to come up to Mumbai uh, from Goa, because I, I go to Goa every year, and uh, make this sculpture that you see behind us. Um, I feel honoured and proud, and hey, this is a lovely place. Wow, Bombay, whoa, whoa, Mumbai, a big place. A few years ago I heard that there was a sand sculpture festival and last year I went to have a look uh, and I offered my services and uh, of course they accepted me and um, hey, I'm here this year so I'll be down there doing my uh, art piece on the beach. But a bit bigger than this one, this is only an overnight sculpture. The one in, Mom uh, in Goa uh, is probably about 50 to 60 hours of work. The 16th, 17th and 18th of December and everybody in Mumbai, you get your bums down there, make it your next destination. It's a beautiful place to go, sun, sea and a beautiful scenery. So don't forget, Goa.